This is the angle. This is the angle. This is the angle. But really, I think this is the angle. I have spent probably the last year trying to overcome imposter syndrome. Now, I didn't really know what imposter syndrome was before I started feeling a certain way. So if you don't know what imposter syndrome is, it's probably because you've never had it, which is a good thing. But just so you know, this is what it is. Imposter syndrome is a psychological pattern in which an individual doubts their skills, talents, or accomplishment, and has a persistent internalized fear of being exposed as a fraud. Why does this happen? Why does this even matter? And why did it happen to me? And I guess, what would I do to prevent it from happening again? Why does it matter? Well, for me, it's because I've been a creative person for most of my life either being a musician in high school and in the college, and then learning about audio engineering and doing that professionally, and then eventually getting to a place where I do videography for YouTube and other companies and clients and do photos for people I know and people who want to hire me. So for me, this is very crippling, and that's not a very good thing. I felt like I couldn't do my job. And if you've ever been in a job you don't feel like you can do, which is part of the problem with imposter syndrome, uh, you're probably pretty miserable, especially if you're still trying to do that job and feeling like you're not good at it or getting anywhere with it. That's where I was, maybe still am. Why did it happen? I don't know. Could be a plethora of things, like, you know, anything that happened in 2020. Could be that I was overworked. I have another YouTube channel, a little plug there, by the way, where I play video games sometimes with my friends and my wife and sometimes by myself. And uh, I had, right before this had started to set in, pushed myself a little too hard. I committed to play a game every day leading up to the release of the new version of that game. You can check that out. I would say, reflecting back on it, you could tell I was kind of miserable. But I'm leaving it up because it's good to reflect on, I think, I hope. Maybe you'll enjoy it, but that's not why I'm here. But I think that's why it happened. I think and pushing myself was what started imposter syndrome. So why am I telling you this? Well, because here I am on another YouTube channel and my goal is to hopefully do some pretty fun and creative stuff that's probably not gonna line up with what you might think a channel outline should be. I'm not gonna delve into science every time, like going over the definition of imposter syndrome. I'm uh, probably not gonna have sick B-roll on every video, but I can say I want this project to be something fun. I want it to be a release for me and hopefully to entertain you. And I call it a project because I don't know how long this is gonna go, but I'm positive it'll have an end. So, if you've ever had imposter syndrome or felt like you're a creative person but didn't know really where to go or how to kick it off, uh, that's basically what I'm doing here. I'm trying to get over my imposter syndrome and trying to kick something off where I'm being creative in as many ways as I wanna be creative. Because I told you earlier, I got a lot of ways I feel like I can be creative. So, if that's something you're into, maybe stick around for this experience just to see how it goes because I don't know nobody knows unless you're from the future in which case get out of here anyway I hope some of that made sense uh, I'm Trevor Bennett this is my personal YouTube channel come along with me for uh, this wild ride Why does this happen? Why does this matter? Why does it happen? Why did it happen to me? Why am I fiddling with my sleeve? <sighs> that was a lot of work. For not a lot of payoff, probably.
Make sure that stuff goes on the screen, Trevor.